Hey guys, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, let's start with the Django React.js project hosting. So we'll see how to host the React.js project which has been developed using Django as a backend. And uh, we'll see how we can uh, buy the particular domain name, how to buy the email, professional emails, as well as uh, how to buy the particular server from the which particular platform. So it is very difficult to host a Django website. So in this video, I will be uh, covering the topic of how to just buy the things. And in this complete uh, playlist, I'll be complete. I'll be hosting entire uh, website which has been developed using React.js and Django. So I'll show you the website. So this is the website which uh, I have developed for my client. So I thought of uh, posting the video like how to host it. So I'll be uh, entirely I'll be uh, hosting this particular uh, website. So I'll take from the I'll do from the starting itself like how to purchase the domain, how to purchase the hosting part, all those things, and we'll be step by step we'll be seeing. So this is an uh, complete an uh, e-commerce website like uh, how to uh, just uh, like complete e-commerce website. I hope you understood like what is e-commerce website. I am not uh, gonna say what is e-commerce website. So it has uh, a number of functionalities. So we'll see how to host this one. So first and foremost, what all the things you need to have? There are three things you need to have. So first thing what you need to have here is uh, you need to buy the particular uh, website name. So it is see it is hosted in the local host 3000. Okay, inside my normal development server. But I don't want to uh, come like this. I don't want to just uh, run in this particular format. I want something like it should be hosted inside one particular name. So I'm a person. I have a name. My name, I have the my particular own name, right? So they people won't call me by 147.2.3.1. Like they'll be calling with the name. Same way to for the website, we'll be giving, giving the particular name. Like uh, suppose for this particular website, I'll be naming as aminmotors.com or dot in dot dot info like that. Okay. So we need to purchase a particular domain for it to just name the particular site. Then we need to. So this is a particular uh, source code has been the, inside my editor. So which is there here, it is there inside my laptop, right? So, but I want to host this entire code inside one virtual machine in the, I mean to say that inside a server. So we need to buy the server to just maintain this particular code and all the functionalities to happen to take care of all these things. I need to have a server. So where it will be taking care of all the HTTP requests or HTTPS requests. Okay. So this name is, uh, domain is nothing but just a name as well as the hosting part. The whatever the things we are the project code will be putting inside one server okay so because of that we are buying a server okay so now let's now move on to the further topic so i don't say how oh, i have done the website okay so just i have done so if you have done the react.js website using django django framework uh, or a django rest framework so you can just follow the same steps to hosting it so already i have said you in my channel just to host how to host a particular normal website so I have said you how to host a particular uh, site inside my uh, Django playlist over here. So it is just a uh, website how we can host same in the digital digital ocean itself here it is the video how to Django website hosting in digital ocean with the Apache 2 servers uh, but uh, it is not with the react JS. but I'll be in this particular video I'll be going with the react JS thing okay if you have done with the normal HTML CSS JS you can follow this also but when you have done with the react JS website you can just follow these other steps to host a website so now there's uh, the number of things has been came so let's buy the domain name okay so I'll say I'll just say here uh, okay so I'll just say the um, what I can say GoDaddy I want to have a GoDaddy. I'll just tell, I'll use the concept of the particular uh, website, GoDaddy. So GoDaddy, where is Daddy is here. Okay, so I'll just uh, open this link. I want to sign in. I don't have an account. I need to create it new. So I'll just uh, uh, say I don't have an account. So I'll say here as a sign in. So you can serve as a particular domain, whichever you like. Okay, so here it is asking me new GoDaddy account, right? I want to just create a new one. So I'll just say I don't have a uh, GoDaddy account. Already I have, but I am just uh, showing you with my another email so let's uh, take with purchase with this particular email the godaddy account so when it has been done let's see what all the things it is going to ask okay so it is asking me counter that you need to have an sms alert okay so i'll just say here uh, the manager starts shopping i have so let's click on to the start the particular shopping so it is asking me okay ERK, what is the domain name you need to want to purchase suppose i want to purchase the domain name as taranam okay so let's search for this name so let's see uh, which name it has been uh, it is there so you can see taranam.info is available and the dot com is taken dot in is available dot live is available so but i want to take the site for amin motors so let's tell amin motors 
so i want to just uh, take the domain name as amin motors so here you can see amin motors.com is available exact match okay and dot in is also available but i want to purchase dot com over here so i'll just uh, click on to the add to cart so i'll just click on to the add to cart over here it's okay it is just asking me 4400 rupees i'll say i want for just for one year and uh, then what else they have added so they will be adding extra things so all those things so just uh, see properly so i'll just click on to the continue to the cart done so once it has been done it is aren't uh, i don't want any protection for my domain okay so let's click on no thanks so it is asking me create an email address that matches to your domain ark at uh, aminmotors.com so when i'll be creating one uh, particular uh, professional email so let's click on to the professional email over here so let's tell uh, 29 rupees per month it seems so let's click on to the continue to cart okay so let's see what all the things it will be uh, asking me so once it has been done so it has been uh, giving me the access over here so you can see what near our eight eight thousand eight sorry eight hundred and forty nine and uh, domain protection i don't want so it is asking me if a professional email is like this i'll just select it i want a professional email for one year okay so the total amount is going to be uh display over here so 1197 rupees so 849 rupees as well as a 348 rupees for the professional email so i'll just click on to i am ready to pay so it is asking me the stuff so i'll just uh, give the particular phone number first first so this okay, guys uh, so you can see uh i have got the particular receipts i have purchased the email uh, successfully so it took me very long time so server was, server was busy so now i'll just click on to the my products here so i got the c pin all those things so you can see uh still it is not showing inside my product section so now how can i see the stuff so if i just tell uh, shop go daddy and account setting and uh pin okay so let's see where it is there so if i just refresh the page so it will be you can see the particular account sms alert to keep at m okay so if i just uh, click on to the update okay so these all those things is just showing it is so i'll just click on to the my products over here so i think it will just uh, show so you can see i got it okay so it took a little bit time so i got this i mean motors.com i got the particular uh, uh domain name as well as the professional email account i got it okay so the two things has been done so now let's uh, later we'll see how we can connect the particular dns so this is how we can just uh, purchase the good edit domain so next uh, i'll uh, want to have a server for the server i'll just click on to the digital oceans so i'll just uh, go to the digitaloceans.com so it is a perfect thing i like it so where uh, i can easily host my website for the django and i'll just click on to the login so already i have done the sign up so you guys do the sign up after doing the sign up it will be asking you um, like which particular uh, language you need to host our site so you select it as a python django and just click on to the next next and almost thing fill your details address all the things it will charge you around uh, 75 rupees so just uh, pay the particular 75 rupees over there and after you pay the 75 rupees so then uh, it will be giving you the access for the creating a droplet so so after uh, we'll see how it can be done okay so already i have done the sign up part so sign up part i have just shown you so after you do the sign in so, sorry sign up so after you pay the 75 rupees or a five dollar it might ask so after that you will be getting in this kind of uh, particular page okay so you can just uh, do it by yourself that is a very simple thing so already i am host hosted on site uh, aerobitica.in so it is my previous site so now what i'll do here is i want to just create a particular droplet over here so i need to just create a particular droplet so i'll just click on to the create droplet okay so same way you need to create it okay so it is asking me uh, ubuntu 2.20.0 i'll just select it as ubuntu and i want a basic uh, thing i'll just select it as a basic over here so it is asking me uh, the premium ahd with this one i don't want i want just a regular intel with ssd i want uh, five dollars per month so let's select it like this and i'll just select where you want to choose the particular region data center so i will select it as a bangalore because i stay in bangalore i'll just select it and i want to create a particular password to it so it's your choice whatever the password you want to keep you can you need to create it if you need to keep a very strong password and you should not forget this password which you are trying to keep now so let's uh, create a password so let's tell the my password i'll just create the particular password i am not going to show you so i'll just tell uh, okay 
So I can see all the things have been matched. So I can see all the four things is matched over here. So I'll just select it. So I don't want to select anything. If you want to keep the backups, it will give the $1 per month. You can just select the backups also. I don't want any backups. So now that's it. I'll just click on to the create project. So once I click on to the create project, so the project is going to create. You can see the thing has been getting created. So I'll be getting an IP address. So where I can easily log in through my command prompt over here okay so this is the uh, thing you need to do it so you have we have purchased what we have purchased the professional email we have purchased the particular domain name as well as we have saw how to uh, create a particular droplet inside the digital ocean so after doing the login over here okay so same thing you need to just do the payments as well as uh, 75 rupees it is it will be charging so yesterday i have paid it 75 rupees it charged so after that it will charge you five dollars per month okay so where uh, five dollars it will you need to have you need to pay the whatever the bill is going to generate it at the end of the month okay so it is how the things works in the digital ocean okay so now we have created like this right so done so our, uh, most of the thing has been done so we have uh, like a uh, think like we are 25 percent uh, of the work is done for hosting a website so you can see i got the particular ip address no worry so if i just copy the ip address if i just uh, open this uh, particular ip address inside the uh, uh, google chrome so it is not still it is not coming over here so it, it we need to activate later okay so this is how we can uh, just uh, create purchase a particular domain as well as a server in the digital ocean so in my next video i am gonna tell you how to put this particular project inside the particular inside this particular droplet where we have to be which we have to be the ip address okay so if you are new to the channel subscribe share with your friends bye bye take care and i'll see you in my next video